All right, all right, YouTube. I was wrong. The manual was right, but this is the original. This is what was in the box. Uh, sorry, this is how it was when it came out of the box. So basically, I did not have to do this. This I did not need. It goes right away here. As you can tell, I removed the screw to adjust it. So I'm going just a bit at a time. I'm gonna need two, my two hands, hold on. Now the way I was forcing before was ridiculous. Now I can even do it without forcing. And there is a difference. Do you see it? Yes, the ring is still visible. But it's clearly working. I guess I should have mounted it. So, levers all the way down. I think I tightened that a bit too much now, but we'll see. Much better. That's the result. This is how we'll... No, hold on. So this is how it was before with this setup. And what I also noticed When I close it, I didn't really do anything, but then I just, just a bit, just a bit. And now I can basically lower it almost one hand. This would obviously be easier, easier when I mount it. So you see the ring is still there, but it's a lot wider. I can tell the difference. So let me see if I can just, just a bit more. I guess I should have gotten my camera mount. I loosened it. So I pressed down just a bit. Just a bit. There. That was a bit force. Okay, I think I went too much for that one, but let's see how it looks. The ring is still a bit visible, but the hole is a lot bigger. Yeah. Even though it was harder to do, I think I'll keep it at that setting. 
and the shell is no longer flared and the inside isn't too damaged. Hold on. This is a 9 16 Okay, this is the one I just did. Those were trial runs. These I haven't touched yet. Not named. Here we go. This is one that got stuck in uh, in my lead Pro 1000. Too much. I guess it must have moved when I tightened it. Yeah, hold on. Okay, a bit too tight, but let's see the result. Much better. You can see the ring. So here you go, YouTube, a video on the machine or the tool where you actually see the results. Not some fuzzy dude just talking yapping. I'm gonna back this off just a bit. And next step is to mount it. So this was a useless procedure. This was what was on when it came so with that last video, you can discard it. Now I know. Oh, I forgot. Doing that, no go. What I did was, the manual was helpful. But what I forgot to do, what I didn't realize, there was a second page. The flat block that so RTFM two hundred and eight bucks worth it.